So let's set up iPad OS 13 and see how different it is from iOS. So first all I do is hit the home button, select English, then select United States, and Quick Start comes up. I open up my iPhone, and when I do, I'm able to easily transfer the information right to my iPad. This is a nifty feature. So on my iPhone right now, you can actually see a camera where I'm hovering over the iPad and showing the iPhone that orb. That orb contains data which allows the Bluetooth to pair. Once they're paired, it gives me a data privacy consent. I click continue, and after I click continue, I have options like setting up face ID or touch ID depending on the device, and now it's setting up my Apple ID. After inputting my password and various authentication mechanisms, the Apple ID is set up and ready to go. Now we're presented with the familiar setup screen where we can choose to restore from an iCloud backup, iTunes backup, new iPad setup, or move from an Android. It's interesting that it still refers to restoring from an iTunes backup, saying as iTunes has been discontinued with this release. Now we have to finalize the setup of the Apple ID. We agree to the terms, and the terms still reference this as an iOS device, even though they now call it iPad OS. Once we've agreed, then we're presented with the ability to use Express Settings or customize the settings. I'm going to click Continue, and after doing so, we're presented with the Apple Pay screen. I can automatically keep the iPad up to date, and I can choose whether I want to set up Apple Pay now or later. We're forced to share iPad Analytics with Apple with this release, but we can still choose to share with app developers. And here we get to the big new feature, dark mode. I can choose between my light appearance or dark appearance, and I can switch back and forth with ease. I will say the animations are not as fluid as they are on the Mac OS switching of this. Now I click continue, go through the last bit of the tutorials, and we're at the new home screen on iPad with iPadOS 13.